He was a Yankee for four seasons, and during that time, Curtis Granderson was one of the most popular players in pinstripes. He had quite a few big moments, too. As we continue here on BPTV, the man himself joins us. Curtis, hello. We are so excited to have you with us today. First question, what have you been up to? How is life in the world of Curtis Granderson? Uh, it's been great, and especially now it's starting to warm up. Summer's coming around, and it looks like across the board things are opening up so I can finally get outside and enjoy summer, especially here in Chicago, and hopefully get a chance to get back to New York soon. We look forward to that. Okay, let's dig in. You were so beloved when you were here with the Yankees. From your perspective, I'm curious, what was it like for you being a Yankee and receiving all of that? What was crazy was being there for that time. I had the big four getting a chance to wrap up their careers with Jeter, Pettit, Posada, and Rivera. So playing with them and now taking a step back and looking at them and seeing, wow, I played on the same field with those guys. I batted after Jeter. I was catching Mariano's last out in a save situation. You know, Pettit's coming in there and, and, and picking up victories and Posada's out there doing his thing and catching and DHing and doing just amazing stuff to watch. And oh yeah, I went to lunch with these guys and dinner with these guys. So all that stuff, now that I sit back and look back at it, it goes, wow, my time with the pinstripes was truly amazing. What a picture you paint. So I'm gonna have to ask you to choose a few of the most favorite moments. Uh, first I'd say probably would be Jeter's 3000th hit because I was on deck for that. It was good and bad because he hits the home run, the crowd's going nuts, which was crazy. And obviously, I expect it. But then I'm on deck and I'm like, hey, everyone, everyone has to calm down. I got to go hit. So, uh, but it was it was awesome to get a chance to be there for it and watch him do that. Uh, Mariano, when he got a chance to have uh, Guns N' Roses come out and, and do their, or I'm sorry, Metallica come out and, and play for him when he entered the field at Yankee Stadium. And I would probably say the third and final one would probably be, oh, that's a good one. Uh, da, 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 da. Wow, there's so many different ones. Probably the three Grand Slam game would be probably a good one, you know, with us hitting all those ho home runs in that game against Oakland and breaking the record with three Grand Slams in a game. That's a good one. That's a good one. I was hoping you'd say that. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to ask you to point a finger on a few of your favorite teammates and why. CC Sabathia, uh, first and foremost. One, he's the biggest. So, you know, you got to be friends with him. If not, he's going to make sure you're, you're friends with him. But he, he's... A big teddy bear, but obviously he'll, he'll have your back in any situation. Fred Gardner uh, still doing his thing out there. And with him and I both being in the outfield, bouncing back and forth between left, center, and right field, him and I were always just talking about different things from base running to hitting to outfield. And we both batted left-handed. So having that in common with each other was always just really cool to just get a chance to chat and talk about Marcus Timms, who's now the hitting coach over there. Him and I had played together with Detroit and then got a chance to be in pinstripes with the Yankees. But that's just a few of them. I mean, everybody over there with that organization from Francisco Cervelli to Derek Jeter to, uh, let's see, Ramiro Pena to uh, Mark Teixeira. I mean, the list just goes on and on. There were just so many great guys, great teammates, just great people with that organization. There were a lot of amazing off-the-field moments as well. I'm remembering your trips to Taiwan and New Zealand. Tell us a little bit about those. Uh, if anyone doesn't know this about me, I love traveling. So that's one of the things that's been tough right now in the pandemic. But there was an opportunity for me after my first season with the Yankees. They said, hey, we had this chance for you to head out there uh, to Bermuda. I think I got a chance to do that one. I went to New Zealand, got a chance to promote. And then now Taiwan, which was awesome. Robinson Cano and myself got a chance to represent the Yankees there with an all-star packed team playing against the Taiwan national team. And I got a chance to bring a couple of buddies with me. And it was just truly amazing. You got a chance to see baseball in another part of the country, participate in it, play in it, promote it. And the fans out there truly love the Yankees. Staying with the Yankee theme, you had a lot of success while you were here. We've been talking a little bit about some of it. What do you think of the current Yankees edition? It's amazing to watch just the diversity that they have. You have power at the top of the lineup, the middle of the lineup, the bottom of the lineup, the guys that don't play every day bring you power and the balance that you're looking for, especially as you go out there and try to battle in the AL East. I mean, you look at Boston, you look at Tampa, even Baltimore this year is doing amazing things to start this year. So continuing to be able to slug with those teams and keep yourself in the ball game, or if you happen to be behind, 
one swing of the bat gets you right back in it. And that's what this team is really built around. It's been fun to watch. How about guys like Judge and Stanton? What do you think it would have been like for you to have guys like that in your lineup protecting you? Not bad, huh? <laughs> uh, I saw Judge when he signed, and I got a chance to meet him take his first bat, one of his first batting practice. And with about seven swings, he hit five of them over the center field wall. And I remember him coming to me saying, was that okay? <laughs> said, yeah, that was more than okay. If you continue to do that, it's going to be amazing. And sure enough, soon after that, he was making his debut it, with the pinstripes, and he's been just going off ever since. So the power, the strength, six foot eight, 280 pounds, followed by Stanton, who's just rock hard, solid, just muscle. When the two of those guys make contact, it's loud, it's fun to watch. And you're glad you're on their team because you only can back up so far on the defensive side of things. So at least when you're on your team, you don't have to worry about getting hit by it. I want to talk a little bit more about the great things you're doing for the game and off the field as well. And we have to talk about the Players Alliance and your involvement and its mission. The Players Alliance has been great. That's one thing that is one of the bright spots of this pandemic. We had a lot of current and former black players that were at home getting a chance to connect with each other about different things that were going on in the community that stemmed all around George Floyd. And guys like CeCe Sabathia, who's the vice president of the Players Alliance, myself and Edwin Jackson, along with Cameron Maven, who also played for the Yankees, and D. Gordon, who were the, the spearheads of getting this whole thing started. So we got to do more. We got to try to get out in the community as best we can. And sure enough, we started with our cross-country pull-up neighbor tour that actually started in New York. CC and Adovino and uh, Dellen Batanzas and a few other guys were able to make it out in New York as we traveled all across the country, handing out COVID supplies, food to those in need, and of course, baseball equipment. So these are some of the first and few things that we've been able to do. And hopefully the list continues to go on and on as we try to help out those in the community from where we live and where we play. Outstanding. Curtis, thank you so much for being with us today. Just great to see you. You are a forever favorite in Yankee land. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for having me on there. I can't wait so we can get out there in person and do it and get back in the Yankee Stadium. It's a deal. Thanks so much, Curtis. Take care.